If you're running Performance Max and search campaigns in Google Ads, you're going to love this AI prompt that I'm going to give you today that can double or even triple your ROAS in search. It does this by showing you all the search terms that get good conversions in Pmax, but you haven't yet targeted in search. Pmax is a jack of all trades. It does an okay job of search, but when it does find converting search terms, if you then move those terms into a dedicated search campaign that is well optimized, you get way higher ROAS. Take this client account as an example. Using this reporting tool, we can see here that Pmax was getting a 2.5x ROAS in search. But in that same Google Ads account, when we then extracted those search terms and ran them in dedicated search campaigns that we optimized properly, we got the ROAS for those same terms all the way up to 6.72x. That's a more than 3x improvement in ROAS. So let's dive into how to use this AI prompt. I'm going to give you a guide on how to use it, plus a copy of the prompt that you can download for yourself. At the end of running this process, you're going to get what's called a keyword gap report. This report will show you the exact terms you need to add into your search campaigns to get that juicy boost in return on ad spend. All right, let's get into it. All right, guys, so here is the prompt that you can use. And I've also included prompt instructions at the top of the document. Now get a copy of this document for yourself in the link in the description below this video. Uh, there's a copy of this exact document in there. And up top, we've got the instructions. Down here, we've got the exact prompt that you want to use to recreate the keyword gap report that I showed you just now. So, okay, what we want to do is first download a search terms report. So in your Google Ads account, come into your Performance Max campaign, click on over here and come to Insights and Reports and come down to Search Terms. Now make sure you're using a nice long date range. Uh, I'm using past 120 days here. And you want to make sure you've got these columns included, clicks, impressions, conversions, cost, conversion rate, conversion value. I've already got all those columns included, but in case you don't have the right columns up, you can find them here under Modify Columns and then just search in here uh, for the columns you need to add. The exact columns are in that document, so just follow along the document. Now, once you've got all your search terms showing up here, you do also want to add a filter for things that actually converted. So we'll go for conversions greater than 0.1 because uh, Google can give fractional conversions. So you normally do 0 0.1 or 0 0.01 because of attribution, Google can give like fractions of a conversion. Like you can see 38.08 here. So let's just grab everything that's got any conversion data at all. All of this stuff is stuff that's worthwhile to target in our search campaigns if we're not already targeting it. So next step is to download this report. And what I usually do is download to a Google Sheets first before then putting it into a CSV file because we need to make one quick little update before we export it into a CSV for ChatGPT. And the update to make is just to get rid of these two header rows over here. So delete those two header rows and make sure that now your header row is this row that says search terms and then impressions, CTR. If you have those two header rows that were in there just now, it tends to confuse the AI and it makes it run uh, a little bit slower while it figures out where your real header row is. So just delete the two header rows, make sure this is now your header row and you can now download this into a CSV ready for using in ChatGPT. And one more step is to rename the file. So just rename it to searchtermsreport.csv. And I'm getting an error here because I've already got something called exactly that. So what you can do is do search terms report and then just add in some numbers afterwards. It doesn't really matter about those numbers there. What matters really is that it's a CSV file and that the first bit says search terms report. So rename your file and then we are good to go to the next step, which is we want to get all our keywords. So now we're going to download the full keyword list from Google come into Google and go to all campaigns. Now make sure campaign status here says all and ad group status here says all so that we're looking at everything, both, both active and paused stuff. Now come over to your keywords. So audiences, keywords and content, click on keywords. 
And from here, make sure that you're looking at all keywords. The purpose of this is we want to deduplicate our search terms list. Yes, we want everything that's converted in Pmax, but we don't want stuff that we're already targeting or is already active in our search campaigns. So we're gonna dedupe the list with this AI prompt. And now what we need to do, we've got all our keywords here. We're gonna download that into a Google Sheet. I generally just go to Google Sheet first so I can get rid of those two header rows. If you've got uh, Microsoft Excel, the paid version, then you'll be able to just download straight to CSV, delete the two header rows, then save back to CSV. I don't actually use Excel anymore. I'm like Google Sheets all the way these days. So I download to Google Sheets first, then I make the edit that I want and then download. So yeah, that edit again was just get rid of the two top rows so that now the top row is this one here, the one that says add group currency code CPC conversions. And now we can download that to a CSV. That's now downloaded. And again, we want to rename the CSV to this time search keyword report. It's gonna give me the same error again, so I'm just gonna go search keyword report, add in some random numbers. Okay, cool, now it's a unique file name. The important thing, the random numbers here don't really matter. What matters is you just call it search keyword report and it's a CSV file. So now we've got our files, we're ready to upload them into ChatGPT along with the custom prompt. By the way, if you've been running Google Ads but you feel like you're not quite getting the results you should be, my team at Big Flare can help. We've been doing this for over 12 years, managing millions in ad spend for e-commerce commerce stores just like yours. And we've helped clients generate over $150 million in online sales through Google Ads alone. When you book a free audit, we'll personally review your campaigns and give you a detailed walkthrough showing you where your account can improve and where you're leaving money on the table currently. It's completely free, no strings attached, and if you like what you see, we can even take over your campaigns and scale them for you. If that sounds good with you, well, click the link in the description below and let's make your Google Ads work harder for you. So come over to ChatGPT. And by the way, guys, I tried all the AIs for this. I tried Claude, Gemini, Grok, and all the other ones just didn't seem to handle this task quite as well as ChatGPT. So I recommend using ChatGPT for this. Uh, there I've attached my search keywords report, and now let's attach my search terms report. So attach both your CSV files, and then you can just copy and paste all of this down here. So from here, all the way to the bottom, copy, paste it in here, no need to customize anything, just paste and go. And it's gonna think about this for a little while and then I'm gonna get a file. So let me just skip the video ahead to when I've got the file. Okay, here you go guys. The prompt has finished running and I now have my keyword gap report. It's gonna show you the total number of search terms with issues up here. It's gonna show you missing keywords, not eligible keywords. So missing keywords means that that keyword is a converting term in Performance Max. Performance Max is getting conversions for this term and the keyword is just completely missing from your search campaigns. So the action there would be to add that keyword into your search campaigns. Now, sometimes, especially with long-standing accounts, what we find is that the keyword is already in your account, but maybe it's in there in an old campaign, it's paused somewhere. So that is what this one here means, not eligible. If you see uh, any number here, that means the keyword is in your account but it's paused and the action then would be to unpause it. Maybe it needs to be moved into a campaign or ad group that is currently active. Maybe it's in an old campaign or ad group and you're gonna get a column over here that tells you whether it was a fully missing keyword. So here you can see an example of a fully missing keyword and the action there would be to add that keyword into the account. And then this here, not eligible, these are keywords that are in the account but are paused. So then the action there would be to unpause them or move them into a campaign or ad group that is actually currently running right now. Now that you've got your keyword gap report, the next step is to jump into your search campaigns and make sure all those converting terms are being targeted. That's how you'll start getting that stronger ROAS on those keywords that you can't quite get from just Performance Max alone. But to really unlock that higher performance level, you do also have to actively optimize your search campaigns. Don't just set them and forget them. So to help you with that, check out this video right up here. Walks you through my weekly optimization checklist step by step. Go watch that one next and use the checklist to make sure that your search campaigns are fully dialed in and performing at their best.